been found guilty of the crime with which you have been charged. It is impossible for me to deal less than strictly with you. I am going to send you to prison for 12 months. 12 months. One whole year shut away like this, sharing the lonely shame of these strange women, the young and the old, the doomed and the damned, the weak and the wicked. Don't judge her too harshly. For maybe she's more weak than wicked. If she'd listened to Michael before, she wouldn't be here now, meeting him across a bare table with a policewoman as chaperone. Jean, why didn't you listen to Michael? That's it, isn't it? You're gambling again. Here we go. You want me to go back to Cambridge and finish my studies. There's no hope for us, Jean. If you had any guts, any guts at all, you'd do as I ask. But even prison has its human side as well as its humorous characters. Brash blonde Betty, for instance, whose temper and jealousy got out of hand for a man who wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> Foolish Babs, who loved her kids, but not enough to stay with them at nights. Mummy, where are you? Mummy! And there was Millie and Mabel, an arsenic and old lace couple of characters whose friendship didn't survive the death of old Harry Wicks. One, two, and one for the pots. And there was shoplifting Nellie Barton, who believed in free trade. Thirteen years a shoplifter, that's me. My daughter Winnie, she's here too. And my son, Bob, he's in Pentonville with his father. Nice for them to be together, isn't it? I didn't know there were any babies in prison. Oh, yes. When they're nine months old, they take them away. 